If voters have their way in the 2010 election, these cameras may be gone forever. We'll have that story coming up in a live report. How would you like to see this the next time you visit an ATM? A man with an assault rifle. We'll tell you why some are worried about a rise in bank robberies. These criminals are stealing right out of your trash can, your bank statements, your envelopes, anything with your personal information. And that's what's making Arizona number one for identity theft. Most people think that because people die every day, cemeteries like this wouldn't be suffering. Hey Michael, we're here with a very festive and patriotic couple. Right now we're jamming out to John Rich in the background. Spirits are high here. All that generosity that poured in here Saturday afternoon for the two boys that were killed by drunk drivers left in the wrong hands through these chain lock doors. Some bank employees here in the Valley have been put on notice. Robberies could be on the rise. Police just arrested a man of robbing nine banks, and authorities hope it's not a sign of a new trend. Police say two armored car employees were filling an ATM at this Phoenix, Arizona Federal Credit Union last week when two men stormed the guards, one with an assault rifle. Cronkite News Watch obtained the surveillance video that caught everything on camera. You can see the security guard accessing the ATM to restock it with cash. All of a sudden, the guard looks back to see the first suspect storm in with an assault rifle. A second suspect comes into view, and both quickly grab the cash and make a run for it. George Contreras owns a business next door, and he heard the whole thing. I heard a gunshot while I was inside my store setting up. I looked out the west window and I saw two security guards, the taller of which was pushing his partner inside the van in a hurried fashion. So I grabbed my gun, went outside. Police tell Cronkite Newswatch the number of bank robberies is about the same number as it was this time last year. But some local banks fear it could get worse. A teller for Wells Fargo says employees were briefed just yesterday just a few things. Keep less cash in their drawers, remain vigilant, and watch for suspicious behavior both in and outside the bank, like people avoiding eye contact. At Arizona Federal Credit Union, Contreras raced in the direction of the suspects and found their abandoned car at a local camp. The two men are still on the loose. A spokeswoman for Wells Fargo wouldn't confirm they've discussed a potential rise in robberies with tellers. Meanwhile, the two suspects who held up the security guards are considered armed and dangerous. If you have any information regarding this incident, you are asked to call Phoenix Police or the FBI. Reporting live in the newsroom, Sam Sweeney, Cronkite News Watch. Jacinta, many California residents had little less than an hour to leave their homes this week, so it's important for you to know what you and your family can do to better be prepared for a disaster. It's been uh, real windy and <laughs> long hard work all night long. They're calling them the worst fires in decades. Thousands of acres burned in Southern California, forcing hundreds of people from their homes. These aerial images show the devastation so many families faced once they returned home. We're hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Even though we are here in the valley hundreds of miles away, we can still learn from these images. We, like I said, we always have our documents ready to go and the digital photo albums. And Jeremy Johnson, who now lives in Scottsdale, grew up in Yorba Linda, California, and he says his time in California taught him some tough lessons about being prepared. As a kid growing up, I remember big fires we had to evacuate. Sometimes you don't get much warning, and that's why you need to think about being prepared right now. Gus Miranda of State Farm Insurance says the first thing you want to do is make sure you can prove what's in your home before disaster strikes. The home inventory, that's kind of one of those things that homeowners always put off because it's taxing, it takes a lot of time. But once there's a natural disaster or your home is not accessible uh, or it's destroyed, those are the things that uh, we ask for. We want to know well, what was in the home. And have a getaway pack prepared, just in case you are forced to leave fast. Prepare a backpack, fill it with flashlights, radios, and a first aid kit. Make sure you have copies of all of your titles and legal documents. Pack non-perishable food. And if you have pets, of course include pet food. And also, a can opener. We should note, as so many California residents had such little time to get out this week, it's crucial not to forget your medications and at least a three-day supply. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix, Sam Sweeney, Cronkite Newswatch.